What's going on, guys? It's Golden with Brandon for God's sake. Coming at you some more Call of Duty World War, World War II DLC 1, the Resistance gameplay for you guys and my friends. We're checking out some of the uh, multiplayer maps, obviously, as you guys can see. Uh, this time, we're going to be doing Anthro Anthropoid. I believe that's how you say it, Anthropoid. Um, the map looks crazy. I haven't actually tried it, so it's going to be our first time trying it out. We're going to see how we can do it. It's uh, a little bit of team deathmatch. This gameplay is raw, man. We're not, we're not, we're not going to... We're not gonna do anything fancy to the this gameplay. So I just want to give you guys, you know, some raw gameplay of the the maps, just so you guys can, you know, kind of really get a feel for it, really see it. And uh, you know, if you guys are debating getting DLC one, uh, maybe it'll help you kind of decide ooh, whether you should get it or not. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. So one thing to keep in mind. I don't know if you guys um, watched my uh, my other videos. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm really rusty, man. I am very, very rusty. Um, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately. So it's not because I don't like COD, man. It's not because I don't like World War II. It's uh, it's just I'm addicted to Fortnite, man. Like everyone else, man. Everyone and their mother is addicted to Fortnite right now. It's uh, insane. I don't know these maps whatsoever, so I'm trying to kind of see and get a feel for them. And I keep getting shot because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's kind of sad. It's really sad, actually. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit since I played some uh, Call of Duty. Um, and again, it's not because I don't like World War II, man. It's like, I love it. But uh, it's just like one of those times where... Get down, boy. Uh, it's just one of those times where it's just like, you know... There's some other games that are just really addicting, you know, right now. Um, yeah, I'm really stoked to see, though, what, uh, what Treyarch's going to do with their zombies. Uh, not no, their zombies. Well, they're zombies as well, because, you know, they created zombies, but that's not what I meant at all. Uh, I'm really stoked to see what Treyarch's going to do with uh, their Call of Duty this year. Coming off of Black Ops 3, are we going to get a Black Ops 4? Are we going to get a, you know, a World at War 2? Are we going to get a something new? I'm really hoping for Black Ops 4 because I'm a gigantic fan of that series. Uh, I think Black Ops has, like, the craziest stories in both zombies. Okay, well, zombies actually, I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know, because World War 2 connects with Black Ops anyways. And technically, the campaigns kind of do as well. But I really love, like, you know, the story they got going for the campaigns and stuff in, um, in, uh, World, uh, not World War Two, um, in um, the Black Ops series, like it's just it's dark and gritty, and it's just ah, there's something about it I love, man. You know the whole Black Ops thing, you know, like the Black Operations and stuff, and it's like it's super dark, and you know, like Mason with the numbers. Anyways, I'm I'm kind of fanning out about it right now. My bad. You know, we're playing World War Two, and I'm going off about um, about you know, Black Ops, um. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite Call of Duty of all time? I know a lot of people say World War II, which... It, World War II is way up there for me. Like, World War II is one of the best games of all time. Uh, but... Whoa! Okay, that's not good. We're actually doing pretty well this game, man. 10 of 4. I'm just ranting away. Um, World War II is one of the best games ever. I mean, here's the thing. I know there's a lot of you who probably didn't play those games back when they were in their prime. Um... I did. I, I played. I, I got into Call of Duty. I played a little bit of like Call of Duty 3, but I don't think I even realized that it was Call of Duty back then. Uh, so I don't really remember it very well. But when I really got into Call of Duty, it was Call of Duty 4. That's when I really got into it. I've just told the story a thousand times. Um, Recon flight where's this concluded. Guy? Oh, he's up there. I've got. Uh, yeah, I got in the. Really got into Call of Duty in. Uh, how do you get in there? In, uh, in Modern Warfare, which is Call of Duty uh, 4. And. Uh, but. MW2 was like the prime. MW2 was like one of the best games ever. I got the best memories on it. But if I had to choose a number one favorite, it has to be Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 1 is up there with Black Ops 2 because those games are phenomenal. There's something about those games that are just incredible. I love them. The maps. Treyarch is like the best Call of Duty developer of all time, in my opinion. Um, and so I just really love those games. But Modern Warfare 2 is also up there. I don't know... Like, I can't tell if Modern Warfare 2 is second or third for me. You know, I know Black Ops 2 is definitely first. It was, it's like my favorite game. Um, but Modern Warfare 2 is like, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 1 are so tight for first, man. They're like my top three, but they're like, they're all like super tight. Like, it's hard to really decide, you know, which one's the best. And But I think Black Ops 2 is an edge for me. Anyways, I'm ranting too much about that. Um, what was my point? I don't know what my point was. I ranted too long. 
I think my point is just that I'm really stoked to see what Treyarch's got in store for this year. And I kind of really hope it's a Black Ops 4. Because um, Black Ops 4 would be amazing. It would be absolutely incredibly... Incredibly... I meant, I meant to say incredibly. It was supposed to be like kind of like this, you know... Cheeky kind of like way of saying uh, something. But it didn't, it, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. Um, anyways... What do you guys think about these uh, these map pack or this map pack? I meant to say these maps in this map pack. And anyways, um, what do you guys think? Let me know. I mean, I'm kind of bummed out. There's only three maps. I mean, given we got you know a new operation or sorry, not operation. We got a new uh, war map, so that that's pretty cool. But at the same time, you know, I I feel like there's a rumor that these three maps are supposed to be in the base game. Uh, there's only nine maps in the base game. We usually get twelve. So in a way, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel like. I kind of feel like we got ripped off a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be straight, bluntly honest. You guys know I'm honest about these things. I still absolutely love playing World War II. I think it's an amazing game. But I do feel like we got ripped off. Uh, I don't know why they did that. It's probably, you know, has something to do with Activision or something. I don't freaking know. Um, but it's just a crappy feeling, man. It's just a crappy feeling that, uh, you know, it leaked that these games were supposed to be in, uh, in the base game. I mean, either way, we're supposed to get 12 maps in the base game. I don't care if it was these maps or what maps it was. You know, usually they give us more maps than that. And I, that was kind of a bummer, you know. It's, it, it's a crappy thing. But uh, that said, I'm still really enjoying World War II. I'm still really... Can you not go in there? Oh, I got smack. I got smacked by that bomb. Yo, we're like super close to winning. It's like super close to losing. We need one kill. Let's go, boys. Can we get the kill? We got the kill. We got the victory. 22 and 12. Not bad. We're, get, we're getting the flow of things, my friend. You, you see? Anyways, this is a little bit of a, a look at uh, Anthropoid. We got uh, we got the uh, the game-winning kill. Did I get that triple or is this just an assist? I don't even know. Let's see. Does this is a kill? It is a kill. It was a triple. Nice. Nice. A beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about this map and the rest of the maps in the uh, DLC. DLC 1. It's out now on PS4. It's going to be out next month on Xbox One and PC. If you uh, guys want to check out the other gameplays of the other maps, make sure you guys do that. If they're not up yet, they will be up shortly. So stay tuned. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to comment, share, and all that awesome stuff. Let me know what other kind of things you guys want to see from, uh, from uh, Call of Duty. And even other games, we can expand a little bit. I've been, you know, uploading Fortnite and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys would like to see because, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm always open to suggestions. So I'll catch you guys in the next one, guys. Until then, game on.